Now, recently in an interview uh, in NBC News, um, President, former President Clinton was rather irate when he uh, was asked if he ever apologized to you personally. And he said, I, I apologize publicly. Do you still expect that apology, the, the personal apology? I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be able to do this. Nobody expected it to end like this. Her reputation preceded her arrival in Israel. A much anticipated interview with Monica Lewinsky in Jerusalem at a conference hosted by the Israeli television news company cut short. Before the interview, the former White House intern turned activist gave a passionate speech about online bullying. A marketplace has emerged where shame is a commodity and humiliation an industry. The Me Too social media movement. Part of what I find so inspiring about the Me Too movement is that it has shown us that there is an alternative to cyberbullying, slut shaming, harass, and the harassment filled internet that we've come to know and accept. And her infamous affair with then President Clinton two decades ago. But not a day goes by that I'm not reminded of my mistake, and I regret that mistake deeply. Lewinsky took to Twitter to explain what happened, saying Levy knew the question was off limits and calling it, quote unquote, a blatant disregard for our agreement. I left because it's more important than ever for women to stand up for themselves and not allow others to control their narrative. She also apologized to the audience. But the Israeli television news company defended their star anchor, saying they had honored all of Lewinsky's requests and that Yonit Levy's question was legitimate and respectful. From Jerusalem, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line.